Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Mica 50mm f1.7 RF mount lens for RF mount cameras like the EOS R or the R6. This is a fully manual lens. It's got manual aperture control on the front and manual focus, but don't be too put off by that because for the price of about £110 here in the UK, this is an absolute steal. We'll touch on the autofocus, manual focus thing later on in the video because I want to compare it to the 50mm RF lens from Canon, the f1.8. We will compare the two in another video, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. It really does help this channel grow. Now, Micah have sent me this lens to review, but as always, a totally honest and independent review. It's hefty. This lens, first impressions, it's hefty. It's a fully metal construction the mount on the back is metal as well it is supposed to be weatherproof so hopefully that will be the case it comes with a plastic lens cap as well it does actually come with a hood which is a negative but that's the only one really um, for this price uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit the aperture ring is smooth so there's no clicky some people prefer a clicky aperture ring but it is nice and smooth it's very a short throw as well as is the manual focus um, ring as well nice and smooth and the actual lens it does protrude a little bit when you focus in and out it's a 52 millimeter screw thread for any ND filters, variable ND filters that you can be using so it's I mean it's quite small but first impressions extremely well made for the price like I said all metal construction very nice indeed so I took it out for a little test we're on holiday last week I took the R6 with me to take some photos and I banged the Mika 50mm f1.7 lens on there just to take some photos and this is what we got up to uh, for photography manual focus isn't too much of a problem you've got manual focus peaking options on the Canon R6 which is quite easy to use I've got it set to a yellow color so Basically, anything that's sort of in yellow, if I up that just a little bit. Anything that's in yellow, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, is in focus and it's pretty easy to use. So that's what I use when I'm using manual focus lenses. It's relatively cheap, about £110 in the UK. Nice wide aperture of f1.7. F1 and uh, it's, a, you know, for a basic 50 millimeter lens, it looks pretty good. I've been using the RF Canon 1.8 with autofocus and quite honestly the autofocus is just an absolute waste of time. There's so much focus breathing on it and it's not particularly good so what we're going to do, we're going to test this out. We'll do future videos comparing the two further on down the line as well for image quality so make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads but today we're in Dorset. We're in a place called Lambert's Castle. We're just having a bit of a walk around on holiday, so thought I'd test this lens out, see what it's all about, see what kind of photos I can take with it. I didn't do a full test, we did a few photos and from the photos that we've done, they look really good. Like I mentioned in that little GoPro video that I used the manual focus peaking which is available on most cameras now. That's what I wanted to talk about when it comes to using a manual focus lens. Not to worry about it too much, it's not as scary, intimidating, not as hard as you think it is, when you've, especially when you've got that manual focus peaking. Now I'm colorblind so you can set it to blue, green and red I think, but I struggle seeing those sort of colours on the LCD screen so I have it set to yellow, yellow's bright, I can see it nice and easily and that basically when you use manual focus uh, peaking with that colour, everything that is in yellow like I explained before is in focus and it's 
really accurate 90% of the time, 95% of the time. It's not that hard to get it in focus. I was really impressed with the photos that I got with this lens. What we'll do, we'll compare that to the f1.8 from Canon. I don't use this lens a lot. It is cheap. It was £220 on, on launch. You might be able to get it cheaper now. The autofocus isn't very good, even with the R6. When it gets its subject, obviously, it tracks it, no problem. The motor is extremely loud on this lens as well. I'm just not a massive fan of it. I might actually sell this lens because now I've got this one from Mica. And with using that manual focus peak in these two lenses, the difference between capturing an image in the time that you want to capture it is very minimal and I'd probably go for the manual focus lens over this f1.8. I will do an in-depth comparison about these two lenses later on so if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe. Drop a like down below as well that really helps the algorithm. We're trying to get this channel growing. The only Negative about this lens is the lens hood. It's well, it's plasticky, which isn't really a problem. Most lens hoods are plasticky, but fitting it on to the actual lens, I mean, you can you can hear it. It it it's not solid on there. It doesn't click on like other lens hoods. It clicks in position. It's not going to fall off, but it's loose. It doesn't. It's rattling. It's not really. I, know, I think it feels like a bit of an afterthought. Um, performance wise, it's going to hopefully work. I haven't really tested it out properly, but I'm not going to have it on the camera if I'm walking around and it's rattling like that. It's just a just a slight negative, bit of a nick pick for me, but I'd like it if it clicked into place and didn't move. So overall, first impressions, this is just a first impressions video, but the Mica lens, very nice. It's build quality again is fantastic the price of about 110 pounds in the uk cheap and for a wide aperture bit of nice glass like this you're getting an absolute bargain and i would at this moment in time recommend it totally over canon's rf mount f1.8 50 millimeter that thing i'm gonna get rid of <laughs> okay that's it for this video first impressions i will do Follow up videos, we're going to do a comparison between the two very soon, so stay tuned for that. But until next time, take it easy, guys. Bye. <laughs>